Hey humans, how's it going? It's Shani today here and welcome to an updated cheats video for 2020 because a lot of people were commenting on my previous video saying things weren't working. So I'm here to fix all of that. If you're new around the channel then you wouldn't know but I've actually done two cheats videos in the past for console gamers. Although if you're watching for PC, a bunch of these things will also work on PC. So don't worry about it, you can carry on watching. But a lot of people were commenti commenting, especially in my 2019 version, about how, oh, but this doesn't work for me, that doesn't work for me. Don't click around in the video and you're gonna miss steps. That's why they weren't working. All of these cheats were working perfectly fine for me. And I've added a bunch of new cheats uh, for the players who have happened to watch my previous cheats videos as well. So there is new information here, so don't worry. You're not wasting your time re-watching this. But a lot of it has been covered on the channel previously, but I thought an updated for 2020 version was ideal because so many people were like, oh my God, this isn't working for me. Like, Y'all, well, that's because you clicked around in the video and you probably missed the very important part where I said that you either need to A, enable cheats, or B, do this, or C, do that. Like, the video is structured the way that the video is structured for a reason, so let's jump into it. We're gonna be going fast through this video as well, so you might need to pause and take notes, but I'm gonna be trying. I have a lot of cheats in here and I wanna make it as quickly through this video as possible. First of all, you're gonna wanna know how to bring up your cheats console, right? So if you're playing on PC, that's Control shift c If you're playing on console, there are two different ways. You can bring it up via your controller, or because the console version supports mouse and keyboard, you can plug in a mouse and keyboard. I've done a full video on this and you can check it out in the cards right now. But if you're plugging in a keyboard into your Xbox or into your PlayStation, still can control shift C. But if you're on controllers, regardless of which controller you're gonna be on, you're gonna be holding in the top two bumpers and the bottom two triggers. Same with the PlayStation, top two bumpers, bottom two triggers. Hold those all in together and that will bring up the cheats console for you on both Xbox and PlayStation. So you have two different types of cheats. You get the BB dot cheats and then you get the cheats that require you to have cheats enabled. This is the main difference between cheats on PlayStation and Xbox and cheats on PC. Cheats on PC don't turn off achievements or any form of like progression in terms of like achievements achievement hunting whereas on PlayStation and on Xbox the second you enable cheats it will switch off your achievement gain or your trophy gain on that specific save. What I've done on my save is I have a very specific save that is set that has cheats enabled so that I won't ever get achievements on that save and then I have my achievement save so that I know I'm safe to still earn achievements some way through the sim score especially if you're an xbox game and you want to get that xbox gamer score all the way up. BB dot cheats and tasting cheats. So the BB dot cheats you don't actually need to enable cheats which means you can use these without having to disable uh, achievement progress or trophy progress going forward. Those are going to be your uh, BB dot move objects on or BB dot move objects off. This allows you to place things randomly throughout the world without having to deal with the world parameters. So if you want to place something in the middle of nowhere, cool, you can go ahead and do that because you cannot place things wherever you want. I usually use this when I'm really trying to get furniture in really nicely and it's just... Can't build without build the move objects cheat. The next thing that you're gonna wanna know is the bb.show hidden objects cheat. Particularly if you have vampires installed and you don't necessarily have a very high vampire law skill, but you wanna keep the vampires away from you and you're gonna need a bunch of garlic. You can't just buy garlic, except if you have this cheat. <laughs> So if you go to bb.show hidden objects, it'll show you a whole bunch of stuff. We're talking like the trophies and the collectibles that you'll find throughout the world. But you can also search random things like an apple or garlic and you'll be able to find it. So that's useful. Then the last one that you're want, gonna want to know, especially if you're a builder or if you're looking for something in a specific let's play, but you don't want to send sims down a certain career path is being able to unlock the locked career items or like you know when you get a gold for a certain event bb dot ignore gameplay unlocks entitlement and that is a very long mouthful but basically what that is going to do is you're gonna have your um gameplay unlock so your level one, five, three, ten, however many careers things you need to unlock to be able to get those. You don't actually have to be in that profession now so in order to unlock those objects. You want to use any of the following cheats going forward. They won't work unless you actually have enabled the cheats on your save. So to do that, you're going to have to bring up your cheat console, control shift C or top buttons, button buttons on your controller. And you're going to type in testing cheats space true. And that'll bring up this warning and it'll be like, hey, this is going to turn off achievements. You won't be able to do this even if you deactivate cheats later. Are you sure? You're like, yes, I accept the terms and conditions of my choices to cheat in this game. <gasps> so now that you've testing cheats true, 
you can have all of your money cheats which i know a lot of you are here for because apparently earning money in the sims is really difficult if you don't get like a major inheritance or kill a bunch of sims to get their money um so the big one that everyone knows is mother load that's fifty thousand simoleons that you can add into your bank account there's also kaching and rosebud which will add a thousand each uh and then the more important one actually is if you have a very specific finance amount of money that you want to earn or a very specific value that you want to earn um the most important one that i found yes mother load is cool gives you 50k but I found one actually via doing these videos and I learned this via my comments is that if you got money space and then just enter the amount of money that you want in your household funds, that's going to give you the exact amount of funds that you've requested. So if it's more than your current household, it'll add money to your, your household funds. If it's less than your current household funds, it'll actually subscribe, uh, sub, it'll actually subtract, it'll actually subtract the amount of money that was in your household funds. So if you want a certain amount of money, cool. If you don't want a certain amount of money, just use the mother load as many times as you need. I don't know, it's your life, it's your game, it's your Sims. Cheat the way you want. So this next one I use quite a bit when my Sims tend to be quite buggy, especially what I found from personal experience is they get very buggy on career lots. So like the hospital, for example, they end up just standing there and they're not doing anything. They're not following any instructions and they're kind of just standing there wasting time. So I end up resetting them and the way you can reset them is to type in a reset sim and then their first name and last name. All of your spelling needs to be correct, all of the casing needs to be correct. So uppercase and capital letters where you need and such and make sure that you're spelling your sims first and last name correctly. But that'll reset them, it'll set reset all of their moodlets. Um, and it'll fix whatever was broken unless there's like a huge game breaking bug then maybe it's best to save and exit and come back in since you do have cheats testing cheats enabled you can just shift click or if you're on console you can just press your a and b button together or if you're on playstation that's going to be x and o together and that will bring up your shift click option and then you can just say reset the sim the next thing that i want to touch on is the full edit mode within cas so Usually when you're playing a stock standard vanilla gameplay, you can't edit things like traits after traits have been set for your sims. All of that, that is completely locked within normal vanilla gameplay. But to be able to unlock that, you just go, you enable your cheats, of course, and then you go cas.full edit mode. Cas, of course, stands for create a sim, but that full edit mode will allow you to edit everything. So if you have an evil sim that you want to change to a good sim over time because of your let's play calls for it, you can do that with the full edit mode and your cheats enabled. Next, we're going to move on to skills. Now, I am going to be doing a full video on this. So if that video has already been released, it will be in the description below and up in the cards. If it hasn't yet, then you have something to look forward to in the next few weeks. Uh, but to a very high level enable you to cheat the system in terms of skills progression and steals game, you're going to go control shift c or top buttons bottom buttons to bring up your cheat console and you're going to go stats dot set underscore skill underscore level space and then you're going to want to choose whichever your skill sets that you're going to be changing to so it will be specifically in this gameplay i'm choosing to change the charisma skill so we're going to go major underscore charisma and that will give you the charisma skill but i have done a full video about this which will either already be up on the channel or is coming within the next week along with resetting your sim which is also really great to know the quickest and easiest way once you have cheats enabled is to just shift click and then you can go cheat needs and then you can just say make happy which will take all of your motives back into the green but something else that you can note under that that cheat needs um, is that you can also turn off and turn on the decay of your motive so if there's something really specific that you want to graph towards and you can turn that that um, motive decay off that'll stop them from having their motive slowly work their way down but if you want to re-enable that then just turn that back on and say enable decay and that'll continue on, on as normal we're doing a lot of shift click cheats today I'm realizing but Something else that I find really useful within my gameplay because I get really lazy and so are my sims, especially if they're slobs, is to make clean or make dirty. So if you shift click on an object and once again shift click is either going to be shift click with the mouse and keyboard or you're going to be A, B on controller on your Xbox or X and O together on your PlayStation and you'll click those in together and that'll be the equivalent of a shift click. 
then you can go and make dirty or make clean. Something else that's a huge time save for you, especially if you don't want to have your sim waste too much time walking or jogging anywhere. I particularly find this useful with Discovery University to make sure that they get to their specific locations on time is to teleport your sim. So if you do have the cheats enabled, you just shift click on the ground where you want your sim to go to and you just say teleport, unpause and they'll literally walk and they'll immediately be in a different position. If you don't have a vampire, you can go via mist or via back transportation and this is the closest you're going to get to that. Of course, it does require you to use cheats, but it makes sure you get to class on time. So this last cheat is a bit iffy because sometimes it works and sometimes it doesn't and I don't quite understand what I may or may not have done wrong, but it ended up working in the long run. So obviously within The Sims, when you're purchasing a lot, you can choose to sell your furniture or keep your furniture and that will determine how much money you'll have left after purchasing that lot. And whatever lot you're going to be purchasing, if it's a ready-made house, you can choose whether to get furnished or unfurnished and that'll obviously determine how much money you have left to spend when you move from house to house or you move into a house for the first time so you've guessed it we're going to be chatting about the free real estate cheat now this has and hasn't worked for me i don't know if i did something wrong particularly when going through the gameplay to record for this video but once you insert free real estate space on and then it'll tell you that the real estate is on if you go back to the same property with the same amount of funds. So that'll keep the exact same amount of money in your household funds, regardless of whether you choose to sell or keep your furniture or to buy a lot that's already furnished or unfurnished. So I don't know, this is a bit funky for me. I'm going to need your, your uh, feedback in the comments then to turn that back off. You're just going to go free real estate space off and it'll tell you that the free real estate is off. Um, and that is the cheats. I know I rushed through these. I do want to have this and blanket it off with saying that with a disclaimer, sometimes cheats are going to work and sometimes they're not going to work. If you find that they're not working, um, I suggest reloading that save and trying again or just restart your game if it's still not working then come and moan at me in the comments that it's not working but i had so many people in the previous video being like oh shawnee this doesn't work i'm like yeah because you clicked around and you clearly missed where you're supposed to enable cheats before the cheats are going to work so just a reminder the bb cheats you don't have to enable cheats and turn the achievements off but for the rest of them a bulk majority of them you will need to enable cheats and unfortunately turn off your achievements and trophy progression on that specific save um, but that comes with the, the perks of having cheats. Of course, you won't be able to get achievements, but you can have a separate save that has achievements that you can have to play without cheats. Um, but that is the video. I will probably see you again in 2021 for another updated cheats video. I am going to be doing a lot more in-depth, very specific ones for skills, for careers, for vampires, for a whole bunch of different things. I'll be doing individual cheats videos over the next couple of weeks. I'm excited to share that all with you. I've filmed all of them already. I just need to do the speaky speaky part for you. Um, but that is going to be the video. I hope you guys did enjoy. If you did, make sure to leave that like, subscribe if you're a new around here, ring that notification bell because I am focusing my whole energy and efforts on Sims content for this year. I really want to get back to creating content that I'm very, very passionate about. And Sims is something that I am very passionate about. And yeah, I will see you all guys. I will see all you guys. I will see all of you guys in the next video. So, so.